Let's talk about the most exciting teams in college football in 2022. Now, I'll go on and pull it up on the screen, give you guys, uh, I know that the type is small, you can pause it if you need to, etc., to be able to see exactly who I'm talking about. This is the 2022 College Football Excitement Index. Basically, what this is, is a, uh, well here, I'll just read it straight from College Football Data. It measures the overall excitement of the game based on swings in in-game win probability, average game scores around 4.0. There is no limit to the upside, but the most exciting games will finish 6.0 or higher. So which team? Teams had basically, if you watched one team for the entire season, which teams were the most fun to watch? Which ones, you know, really were entertaining football? And I think that the top 10 is going to surprise you. You can see it right here on the screen. Number one is Miami of Ohio. Uh, they, of course, being in the MAC, uh, they were, I probably should have put these numbers here. Uh, Miami of Ohio averaged a 7.26 on their games. I mean, it just absolutely bonkers when you look at the, the swings and win probability in their game. Number two, Ball State, another MAC team. Number three is Texas Tech. And Texas Tech makes the most sense to me because, and now at Miami of Ohio and Ball State played a bunch of close games. So that makes absolute perfect sense. Texas Tech is mainly because of their fourth down attempts, right? Zach Kitley loves to go, they, they study analytics. They go for it more than anybody else in the country. This team was all over the place. So Texas Tech at three makes sense. Number four is Buffalo. So the Bulls, another MAC team, close games, makes sense. Number five, Georgia State. Now, that does make sense. They played some really close games. They lost some close games. When we get into uh, postgame win expectancy and who overperformed and who underperformed, et cetera, you'll see uh, Georgia State had uh, some interesting games. Georgia Southern is number six. Number seven is Eastern Michigan. Uh, this is another MAC team. Again, close games in the MAC means huge swings in win probability during ballgame. Number eight was Coastal Carolina. Makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense because they did play some really close games in the Sun Belt. Number nine is East Carolina. And then number 10 is West Virginia. I think that those top 10 would surprise you, right? Uh, let's go through conference by conference. I'll give you the top two in each conference. The AAC, number one was East Carolina. Number two is Houston. In the ACC, number one was Wake Forest number two, Virginia Tech. That's right, in Brent Key's first season. They were one of the more exciting teams. Uh, yes, post-game win expectancy, I think, will shock you on Virginia Tech. Big 12, Texas Tech and West Virginia. I already talked about those. In the Big 10, number one was Indiana. Number two was Nebraska. That's right, Nebraska. The same bunch that fired their coach after week two. Yes, Nebraska. Uh, Conference USA, Florida Atlantic and UTEP. That's right, that's right. The Independents, Liberty was number one, and Army was number two. Uh, in the MAC, Miami of Ohio and Ball State, we talked about those. In the Mountain West, number one was Wyoming. Number two was San Jose State. And yes, I, I think that those two do make sense. You play close games, you're going to have huge swings. Uh, it makes sense. In the Pac-12, number one was Cal. Number two, Oregon State. That's right. The 10-win Beaver were number two in the most exciting uh, teams to watch in the Pac-12. In the SEC, number one was Arkansas. And if you go back and actually think about the games that Arkansas played in, a lot of close ones, a lot of swings in win probability, etc. Think about that Alabama game. They were down 28 to nothing. Then they were down 28 to 23. And then they ended up getting run out. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, Texas A&M, kind of the same thing. Closer games, a lot of close games. Uh, the Sun Belt, Number one, Georgia State. We talked about that. And then number two, Georgia Southern. The most exciting teams. And I'll, I'll probably go through this year on Twitter, uh, somewhere else as well. And we will talk about, you know, what the most exciting games were. Uh, one through probably 40 again. So I did the same thing on Twitter last year. Uh, shared out clips of each game, all that kind of stuff. So pay attention to that going forward. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.